Hey y'all, Cole Ford here, my buddy Brian Martin. Uh, How y'all doing? We just uh, gonna sit down and have a little conversation and kind of talk to y'all, the world, and whoever's listening about uh, some things that are uh, tough to talk about sometimes. But truthfully, both of us have had have had to deal with some mental health stuff, and uh, it's a it's a constant battle, don't you think? It's a, it's definitely a constant battle, and I think it's. It's always uh, usually us battling ourselves more than anything. It's real easy to beat yourself up. There's no question about it. But, I, you know, we've all written songs that we love that mean something to us. But I, there's something about this that I, I, I just know this song has a chance to save somebody's life. And that is a, that's a big deal. It is, brother. Both of us are very... I'd say reluctant to do this, it's just, or maybe even scared to do this. Uh, I, I think it's, it's, I think it's more of a weight, man. It's a weight. And the thing is, like when you're in a spotlight, you know, and then you're not in the light at all. Like we've been in both. We've been we've been in the dark. We've been in the light. And uh, I think that there's something that even in in a in a big light or whatever, we're still sometimes in the shadows in our mind, you know. And I think a lot of people need to see that there's still a lot of deep and dark stuff that happens with us every day the same yeah, way. I mean, I mean, it's easy to see us on stage and playing and smiling and having fun and everybody's partying and drinking. And it's hard to imagine standing on a stage in front of five, 10, 20,000 people and still feeling alone. Uh, that's a, that's a deep one. I've dealt with some stuff. I, I, I went through a divorce. Uh, I, I, I've battled some things. I've, I've battled some different, problems and and most people would n never know because i'm normally a, i put the smile on and i and i'm happy and mr good time yeah man uh it's hard to wear that name too and not always it is be a and, good they, time. and they expect that and i want to give everybody that you know but i mean there are times where where, where i've been pretty down to the point of uh thinking about checking out for real and uh I know you've dealt. I know you've dealt with some of that. I went. I went through to a divorce to myself, man. And that's the deal too. Is that you know these songs are are songs, and they're meant to relate, and they're meant to tell our story and our side of things, and they're not meant to try to tell anyone out there that we can relate to everything that you've been through. But we can relate to a lot of things as far as what goes on in your mind when you go through traumatic things, losing people or. Otherwise, yeah, you've had, man, you've had you've, you know, you've had a couple of bad wrecks. I've had some, yeah. <laughs> that really affect that it affected you neurologically. I got diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. That's a very neurological based disease. That's that's had a uh, a, a huge effect on my life, a life changing kind of thing. And you know, we, we just wanted to sit down here and be completely honest and 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 we're so humbled that people love what we do, man. I I try to say it as much as I can in songs. I throw a little, throw a little thing out there every now and then. But you know, a lot of people don't know that the, the songs are the only thing that uh, they save kinda help, they, they save me. Yeah, yeah, it's like you know, my, like I said, my my first song came from a, a suicide note and a misfire three fifty seven when I was uh, nineteen years old. So there was obviously more for you to do in this world. And the next morning, I met the woman, been the mother of my kids uh, for the last fifteen years, and. When we went through our little COVID trial, when everything went south and I couldn't get, you know, she stood by my bedside when I'd go through uh, trying to chase any kind of addiction that would get this stuff out of my head, you know. It's not even the addiction so much. It's the it's just, just something to, 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 slow make, down. to it's, make the make the the voices in the head. Yeah. I mean, we talk a little bit about that yeah. in our song. I mean, like it's it's not you can't explain it. And it's and it's like you said, you don't want to explain it sometimes because you don't want no, you don't, don't want to feel crazy. Yeah, you don't want to feel crazy, and you don't want to seem vulnerable. You and I struggled back and forth about even wanting to do this. I meant uh, even up to the point before we just sit down here of of do we want to do this? But there also comes a point, not to quote Spider Man or anything, but with with great power comes great responsibility. Is that? Right. And you know, I've I've had parents come up to me and say uh, we lost our 17 year old son in an accident and we play your music because it makes us still feel like he's there and it's uh it's heavy, that's hard it's it's so humbling because you're sitting there going so my music has been a part of their happiest time in their life 
and a part of their saddest time in their life. And it's hard to wrap your head around that sometimes. And I, I, I've sat back there on the back of my bus many a time alone at night going, wow, that's, it's just hard to understand. I mean, and, uh, it's a heaviness, man. It's a, it is. It's just, it, we take on a little weight because it's like, we want those stories because they mean something to us, but we take it on like a weight and we wear it on our heart because we know that now everything that we say from here on out. You realize the it impact has to, that it yeah. has. But as men, sometimes we've been programmed and taught to be tough and suck it up. And, and, and that's all important too. But there's also time that you have to be a little vulnerable and you have to show people like, man, I, I'm dealing with stuff too. And I'm human too. And, and, and you have to reach out to your brother and go, hey, man, I'm hurting a little bit. Yeah. Just me, saying me and Brian words. have been on FaceTime at, you know, Late 2 o'clock in the morning, both of us crying, trying to encourage, yeah. encourage the other, or, or one of us is down, and we're trying to – I'm trying to help him, you know, get back up. and uh, Need help gotta, you up we, yourself. Yeah, we – you know – it, it's so easy to try to help others, and sometimes you 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 don't ask for it yourself. And uh, we just hope that we do the same thing for somebody that's you know sitting these shoes and sitting these places where they realize it. It's it's an ongoing battle. It's it's never it's it never no. it never it never Addiction, completely mental stopped. health. It, it's not talked about enough. We we've got to talk about it more. We've got to we've got to bring it to the light more because there's a lot of people that are hurting and with, especially with what we've been going through the last few years. I went through one of the roughest times during that time. Yeah. And, uh, I, spent, I know you did. I spent a year turning off all the radios, all the TVs and, and just dealing with what was going on. Like what's, what's going on in my mind? What have I been doing that I keep repeating and keep going through? It's like, I'm not going to put my kids through that no more. I'm not going to put my family through that no more. I'm going to get along with myself and I'm going to somehow or another talk, I'm gonna pull pull through it, and and a lot of people don't have songwriting, but they, you know, they, that's the thing is you got to find it's an therapy outlet. For you got to find. I know it's therapy for you. You got to find an outlet for it. You got to either write it down or or talk to your, uh, you know, talk to someone about it. Talk to your, one of your closest friends, see where they relate with you. Just you know? don't just like don't be you. afraid to ask for help. Don't be uh, afraid of it. It's it's been a hard thing for me to do. I know it's been a hard thing for you to do. Uh, and at the end of the day, we both just felt like this was, uh, it was just hugely important and it doesn't matter who you are, what you do, where you're from, what your circumstances are, What's in it, your bank anybody, if, if you need help, don't be afraid to ask somebody. Uh, and if you see me or Brian out there, we want to hear your stories. We want to hear it. We want to hear it. We want to hear it if it meant something to you. Uh, we want y'all to know that we were right there with you. Yeah. And and it's an ongoing battle. And we'll be dealing with it probably for the rest of our, rest life. Of our life. But, but it's, it's all about the getting up, man. It's not how hard you fall. It's how you get up. How many how you, times you get back up. And it's, I mean, it's, a, it's a deal about trying to take something that you know hurts and getting back up, living through it, taking that story and knowing that that story of you getting back up is eventually going to turn into you getting back up again. And every time every time you get up, you get a little bit stronger. A little bit stronger. You carry yeah. a little bit more weight with you, but then you get a little bit stronger. it becomes a lot harder to knock you down. It gets a lot harder to knock you down. You got them roots then. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, guys, look, we love you. We're thankful for you. We're thankful that we get to play music for you. We're going to do a little stripped down acoustic version. I ain't going to do much of it because he's a whole lot better than I am. No, I'm not. <laughs> but uh, we want to play you this song. Uh, and, and we wish all of y'all health and happiness. This is, a, this is our song we wrote. This is called Help. Thank you all. I know it's been a while Been running with the devil Just trying to find my smile And you're the only one Who can see right through my life 
been trying to learn how to see myself through your eyes. Some say it's the whiskey making me feel lonely. Or is it the cold side of the bed? There's no one there beside me, no one there to hide me from the voice inside my head. Yeah, I'm a runner, I'm a gunner, yeah, I'm always up to something, but I keep going through hell. I don't know where I'm going, but the only thing I know is I do it by myself, and I don't need your help. No, I don't need your help. Just another lonely night motel outside Chicago. And I wound up at the bottom of a bar Cause I was done with it all, had a pistol to my head But through tear stained I seen that Bible by the bed And some say it's the whiskey making me feel lonely Cause it's the cold side of the bed No one there beside me, no one there to hide me from the voice inside my head Yeah, I'm a runner, I'm a gunner Yeah, I'm always up to something But I keep going through hell And I don't know where I'm going But the only thing I know is I can't do this by myself I could use your help Maybe just a little help I don't know what I felt tonight, but it chilled to the bone. Cause when I hit my knees, I realized I never was alone. So I pulled out the whiskey, left behind lonely, on the cold side of the bed. Felt you there beside me, you were there to hide me. Fuck the voices in my head. Yeah, I'm a runner. Yeah, I'm always up to something, but I found my way through it. And I don't know where you're going, but the only thing I know is you ain't gotta do it by yourself. You can ask for help. Yeah, you can ask for help. Amen. It's okay to ask for help. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Love you. Don't be afraid to ask for help.